Hi there, it's Jonathan Strickland, senior writer for HowStuffWorks.com, and I've got a big secret to reveal to you right now. I'm from the future. I mean, really, I actually traveled through time using an obscure sports car, and, uh, well, the details aren't important. What is important is the reason I chose to come back was to see the moment in time when the technologies that shaped the future were first unveiled to the public. It looks like I picked the right place and the right time. Come along, show you what I mean. Two-dimensional displays used to rule the land until technology like this came along. Now, you might look at this display and say, gosh, that looks pretty, and it does. But more importantly, this convex form factor means you can incorporate the display directly into the physical surroundings. And it can show anything from information to entertainment. And more importantly than that, we can marry the digital with our physical environments, which is pretty awesome. Even in the future, this thing is huge. This is a 120 inch ultra high definition display. And even at this size, you can really see how that resolution holds up thanks to the power of 4K technology. Now I gotta admit, I'm drooling over this display, but the next thing I have to show you will really blow your mind. This is an 85 inch 8K television. That's right, it has twice the resolution of the already incredible 4K TVs. And I'm so glad I could be present for this important moment in history. Oh wait, right, it's still the future for you guys. You see, in 2016, Japan starts to broadcast in 8K, and this baby is ready for them. And it is amazing. Trust me, I'm from the future. Another cool thing about the future is we've learned to work displays into surfaces you wouldn't normally consider a display, like this mirror display. So you can actually watch a video while you watch yourself, or as I like to think of it, look at a work of art while uh, looking at a work of art. I do look good. Or how about this incredible see-through display? Look, you can actually look through it. Now see, in the future, all of our windows can double as displays. So the windows in my house, I use them to make my house into a sports bar. I watch a lot of girth ball. Oh, that's right, you guys don't have that yet. But trust me, it's pretty cool. The MEMS IGZO tablet. All right, so there's this technology that's been in development for a while at your time. And it's called Micro Electromechanical Systems, or MEMS. Now these are really tiny machines measuring less than 100 micrometers. Then IGZO stands for Indium Gallium Zinc Oxide Semiconductors. Sharp has combined these to create a tablet that has incredible touch responsiveness, low energy consumption, and it can work in extreme conditions that would have normal semiconductors shaking in their boots. How you doing? Here's another great example of how display technology has impacted the future. Now these also rely on IGZO semiconductors. Now with your average display, all of the circuitry is confined to the bezel, which makes the displays that rectangular form factor. But Sharp's learned how to create technology where that circuitry is embedded in each individual pixel, meaning we can make displays of any shape. And that means we can have them in our environments to do whatever we need them to do, whether it's to show information or be entertaining. It's pretty cool. Well, my time is just about up. It's about time I get back home. But I want to just tell you, the future looks amazing. This display technology is really what brings the digital world out of the ether and into our physical environments. This was a blast. And remember to join in on the conversation on Twitter by following Sharp Aquos. And come to HowStuffWorks.com to learn more about science and technology. As for me, well, I got to get back to the... Well, you know. Bye.